let's talk about what you're doing right now. Sure. Bicycles. Bicycles. <laughs> the future and the past of urban transportation all, all in one. I now run a company called Motivate, and Motivate is the, the largest bike sharing company in the United States. So we operate bike share here in New York, uh, in Washington, D.C., Boston, Chicago, Toronto, Seattle, San Francisco, Portland, Oregon. Um, and so it's, it's spread across the country. But, but I think with the beauty of what we're doing right now and what I love about what we're doing right now is I think we are actually redefining public transit. Mm -hmm. that, that the idea, and I have enough gray hair, unfortunately, to, to, to remember this, but, but the idea of public transit really was the word mass transit. Mm -hmm. It was that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few and that you should conform yourself mm -hmm. to the way that the trains operated, where they went, when they went. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you moved and lived in the place that was gonna be convenient so you can get to the train line that was convenient to get you into the, into the city. Um, that doesn't feel comfortable to us today. Mm -hmm. What feels comfortable to us today is actually having a system and making it what we want it to be. We now have over 60,000 journeys a day on a bicycle in New York City. I mean, who could have imagined that in, in thinking about that? And the beauty of that is that every one of those journeys is what people want them to be. They're going place to place. There's no tracks, there's no, there's no restrictions. There's nothing stopping that from happening. Um, and people are responding in droves. Uh, to doing it. Does that replace the, the subway system or the bus system? Of course not. The MTA carries upwards of 9 million people a day. And I just said we were, we were moving 60,000. 60, right. so, so orders of magnitude, but I don't think the way you look at this is by orders of magnitude. I think what you look at it as um, what people are creating, what we're creating is a flexibility and a freedom for people to be able to, to move around the city in a way that feels good to them. That means sometimes that City Bike helps to open up new areas because the city is evolving and changing in ways that um, were not contemplated in 1904. Right. Um, you know, this is a city, if we take New York, that built 656 miles of subway between 1904 and 1939. And a year ago, we opened our first new subway station in 25 years. Um, at that same time, the city is changing dramatically. The, the movement is changing dramatically. The original uh, transit lines were built with the idea that you commuted from the outer boroughs to jobs in Manhattan. Today, people are commuting more between the outer boroughs than they're actually commuting into Manhattan. And, and the system simply wasn't set up to do that. And what City Bike is doing is it's filling in a lot of those pieces for a lot of people. It's allowing people to make trips they might not have made otherwise. It's quicker, cheaper travel in many ways to be able to do it. It fits our values, mm -hmm. um, environmentally friendly in, in doing that. And then there's a, a, a final one, which, which I've, I hadn't thought about actually when I took the job, and it, and it, it really strikes me, is this concept of wellness. Mm -hmm. um, people actually are happy doing it. They, they feel good. They're getting exercise. It's, it's really fitting in in a way that is surprising people. In econ speak, it's not entirely obvious if there are substitutes or complements, even whether or not taking the subway or taking the bike is, isn't, you know, aren't you, are you more likely to take the subway because the bike option is around, possibly? Are you more likely to bike because the subway option is around rather than replacing one trip with the other? But I think that the fact is that um, they each have their place. Uh, I rode a bike to get to work this morning. And I took the subway to come down and meet with you. I haven't yet decided what I'm doing when I leave here. It'll be one of those two things. But I love knowing that there's a bike stand 100 yards away and that I can decide to do that and hop on it and go.